Hey guys, it's Dr. Davuti. I'm standing over here at Kazi Orthodontics here in Gainesville. I'm here to be fit tested for my mask. Dr. Kazi has done an amazing job. He's gone around and making these 3D printed masks since we're running out of PPEs and I think it's a good idea for all of us to start wearing these wherever we do and I'm doing surgery still in the hospital. We have a lot of reconstruction patients, a lot of cancer patients that we're gonna have to take care of. Um, so it's important for me to be protected as well as them being protected from me. So let's go see Dr. Kazi. All right, it's Dr. Davuti here with Dr. Kazi and right. he's got his whole operation. Look at this. So he's got his HEPA filters and then he's got his 3D printed mask. This is what this guy's been doing all weekend. While the rest of us have been sitting there doing nothing, he's actually come up with an ingenious way to help us. So Dr. Kazi, you wanna explain what you've been doing? Sure, I, uh, I saw a shortage and people were using bandanas and cloths and all kinds of things and I thought I could utilize some of the technology I had in my office to formulate a mask that was a little more efficient than what people had. And these aren't FDA approved, but they do provide some efficient filtration in my opinion. You have the 3D printed framework, which is right here, and I've been printing some on my printer as well uh, here, and I have the file at firedbycorona.com, the file is on there. And then you can come over and we've got HEPA filters, which are 99.7 or 9% effective at filtering particles. So these are just your standard uh, VAC filters that you can just get online. And I cut them and then what you'll get is you'll get like an accordion of material here that you can get about 23 masks out of each one. All right, Perfect. so you have the filter, the framework, and then the framework will be secured with the filter with a rubber band that's very, very tight. And we're working on some new models to maybe get a screw top or some other things right now. And then you'll get the seal, which any dentist, and we're working on maybe some materials that you might be able to get at hardware stores and things like that. And we do border molding in dentistry for dentures and impression trays and things like that. So we can get a really close fit to the face. And I'll show you, and then straps are added as well. So you can see air moving across that filter because I have a good seal here with my face and also the filter material is sealed against the mask. So in theory, this would actually be more efficient than an N95 mask. It would be the equivalent of a P100 mask based on the filtration medium. Uh, now I can't claim that this mask hasn't been tested and should be only be used in, in places where you don't have PPE. So thank you. All right, so like one of the things that we do have, we you know lack is we lack having the correct PPE. So like these are the standard surgical masks that I'll be wearing in my operating room. So instead of just wearing those, what I'm going to do starting tomorrow is get one of these tested and fitted on me and start wearing these tomorrow. And I think this is definitely I feel more secure about this. I think my patients are going to be more secure about this, and I think it's going to get good results. Um, we're gonna start the process right now. It's Sunday. We came here. It's eight o'clock at night, and just want—I just want to demonstrate how quickly something like this is made. All right. So I've picked out the one that I'm gonna be using. This is the, this is the mask I'm gonna be using. And he, what Dr. Kazi is gonna do? He's gonna sit there and fit test me to make sure that it fits my mouth correctly, add the appropriate padding to it, and this is gonna be great. So right here, what we've done is we've painted a little adhesive basic stuff that all dentists have and we'll, they're painted around this thing so we're waiting for that adhesive to dry a little bit and then we're going to add the polymer after that mm -hmm. so, so right now he's putting that on there right um where it's going to go all the way around and we're going to hold it against my face for about three minutes and this thing is going to set in all right so i have the mask i have the polymer on there and here it goes so i'm just going to put it on there and just let it hold and let's see if you get a good seal Okay, about five minutes has gone by. I'm gonna pull this thing off. And it should be molded to my face, right there. And then uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of trim work on it. Yep. So we'll just trim it up, clean it up a little bit. Just use a little X-Acto knife just to kind of make it look a little better. And this doesn't have to be done, but you know, for sterile, for disinfecting it, Makes it a lot easier, yeah. right? So Perfect, so let's do that and we'll be back. Okay, so we're done. It's been shaped, fits my face really nicely. We've got the HEPA filter right here, two sides to it. It can actually be on either side, but this is fantastic. So you just take it, you shape it around your mask, take a rubber band, 
double loop it and just slide it just gently on there. It fits into the lip. Make sure you have the filter covering all of it. And I do. And then, let's see. And I'm breathing right around, right, right through it. And I don't feel any air escaping around my nose or around my cheeks. Nice and tight, which is great. So this should work really well. Let's, now let's just add the straps on and we're good to go. Okay, so we have the straps on now, so easily to put on. So then I'm gonna put the bottom strap in first. Tug through. And this feels really secure. I mean, I, I feel... So everything coming around it. And then for bonus, as a surgeon, I also wear a surgical mask. So then this can go on top of it. That way I don't have to touch the filter. And I still have my face shield protection. And now I have a HIPAA filter built into me. So that should work great. So there you go. So there you go. If you want information on how to make this mask and get involved by 3D printing, you can go to firedbycorona.com. Firedbycorona.com. You'll see it right here on the bottom, right there. Firedbycorona.com. Um, and the mask is going to be the There's 3D. There's an STL file to download the 3D image and be able to print it there and also instructions on how to make the mask. Dr. Kazi was also saying there's a lot of kids sitting at home not be able to do anything right now. If you have a 3D printer, you're a kid, print this, take this file, print the mask. You don't have all the supplies that the dentists have, but you can bring the actual mask and get it sent to us. Is there going to be an address on there? Uh, on there's on my office address is 3520 Row Lane. It's Causey Orthodontics, and we have a drop box by the back door for donated uh, frameworks of masks that have been printed. We appreciate everything we can get. That'd be fantastic. So everybody get involved and let's get fight this thing one one person at a time, and even with the dentist help. Who knew? <laughs>